So I made a video the other day with Train with Ava, and I guess I wrote in the comments about just working on her down, or plots, whatever verbiage you want to use. And there's different styles. Um, Ace and Ava both have their different styles. Ace does a sit to down, Ava does more of a collapse down. So in this video, I'm just gonna show you different ways of how to do it. Um, there's no right or wrong answer or way of doing it. It's just whatever preference you use. Um, with Ace, we always did it as a sit to down. And then with Ava, because again, I wanna do competitions with her and you can't go past a certain point. So you have to basically collapse which in the long run I actually prefer because it's a lot cleaner, a lot smoother versus the down where it can just, with Ace anyways, it just, it's just one extra motion you don't need. Uh, but again, everyone's different. So here's both ways. Just gonna use some treats for Ace. Then with Ava, I'll show you how to do that one a little bit more stylized because the more that goes into it, but also how to do it at a distance as well. So uh, here's the first one. If you don't mind me, I also got my boot on. It's, you can see, and down. There it is. Okay, so just like everything we do, always start with the lower. Okay, and that's just following the hand. Wait until they just patiently follow the hand until they are down, okay? more in a vertical down whereas with the collapse you're going towards their legs okay and that's what's going to cause their head to go backwards i also have the pole because you'll see it so this way you can have that as an indicator so they don't go backwards okay or i'm sorry they don't go past that point okay. yep and down so you notice how the back legs go down first and then the front legs fall forward. That's where you see how they sit down and then they fall forward. Okay. Down. There it is. And there's the extra movement. Uh -huh. Nope. There it is, guys. On any good down, you definitely want the front elbows to hit the ground. And just like on the sit, with the down, if you look at their tail, if it's still moving and it's not flush to the ground, that's really not a down. Their back end can be up just a hair. So, <laughs> so again, you just want that to be flush on the ground. So if it's not moving on the ground, they may still be excited, but it shouldn't be able to move because it's flat on the ground. Um, then you're on a complete down. Okay. And there it is, and down. There it is, deep fall forward. Yes, good boy. No. So, with this one, if you're using it on a leash, so if you had to do a correction or anything like that, you would pull the leash down, okay? So they're not sitting, you just pull it down. However, with, and again, I'll show you with Ava, you wanna pull it down in. So again, this is what drives the body backwards. This one's pretty self-explanatory. So it's kind of simple and you know, kind of elementary side. Again, is it right or wrong? No, it's whatever you prefer. Um, again, when I got, when we got Ace, Kevin, I got Ace. Didn't really know better. It was just kind of one of those things you'd go at, hey, fo focused on the sit, 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 sit. Any dog can fucking sit, okay? That's just kind of a inbreded, you know, posture. But going into a plots and how they're structurally anatomically built it's a little different so again if that's what you want it's totally fine no right or wrong do whatever you want and again same thing with the verbiage use whatever word you want to use it doesn't have to be plots it doesn't have to be sit use whatever there's no right or wrong just do one more a hey, sit oh, i'm sorry there down and there it is elbows not totally flush there it is yes Good down. And again, to really solidify the down, even if you got a puppy, and this is stuff you should be doing from day one once you get a puppy. Once you, even if they're doing it voluntarily, like in your house or whatever, leash or no leash, if they're just doing the motion, go ahead and reward it. 
say, hey, good down, go ahead and give them a pet. If you have a treat on you, give them a treat. Just the act of them doing whatever it is they're doing is like, oh, I'm just laying here. That's gonna reinforce the command word. So once you're done with the lowering phase of it, and you can start doing the motion with the hand. Once you start doing the motion with the hand and they are doing the motion you want, go ahead and start putting the word that you want to put the command to that associates with that word, with that action. And then you can start putting it all together, okay? So look like this. First we're lowering, down. Sorry, just at a default. I'm so used to it. It's boy, yes. Yes is just my relief word, yes. And down. Boom, boom, yes. Good boy. I don't know if you saw that one. Come on. Hey. Still chilling. Down, there's the word, followed by the action, and he volunteered. It. Good boy. And that's it. First, you're lowering, so you're shaping. They followed your hand movement, so they know exactly what the motion is. Once they start getting it, the hang of it, go ahead and throw the word on it. And then they, you can start, you know, essentially building that command from the ground up. So lower, then word, and then you piece it all together. All right, so that's the sit to down. Now with Ava, you're gonna notice, and this is where I was cheating with her because I'm more of a stickler with her because I want to do a competition so the feet can't go forward because at a certain point, they gotta be exactly where they are. So I have the pull out, I'm gonna use the pull. You can use an elevated lift. My only issue with it is, it's if you have a long dog or a big dog, their feet will naturally wanna just start hanging over or it may just not be comfortable to them. So if you have a patio and you got a little edge, a little platform, you can go ahead and use that. If they have a big bed and there's a, again, a little ledge, go ahead and use that. I did it over at the park where they have cement around the benches. So again, just the different textures was how I ended up creating that collapse uh, plots with her. So go ahead and show you that one. So, hey, so one. Yeah. Hey, come here. And that was exactly it. Taking it from their mouth, straight down in between their legs, and then you notice how the butt collapses last. First the front, then the back. So that's when you literally have to keep looking and keeping an eye on that their rear end isn't sticking up at all. Here we go. And plops. Yes. Okay, one more time, I also have her which she doesn't realize I got. Hey. Yeah. And we go ahead and do, you know what, I'll throw it this way. Hey, Front. So, anytime you have kind of a obstruction inside their way, you want to make it known that they're not there to go across so you got to be a stickler about so if you see a paw start going against it you have to start over and say no that's not it so this is where again that shaping lowering you really have to be a Nazi on in order to get it right another thing if they're in the sitting position in order to do this go ahead and kick them up into a stand and then motion it so this way they start getting it to fact of is you're not going from a sit to a down you literally have to pop out really quick into a stand and then go into a down. Okay. Front. Okay. okay. Then, so from here, I would go plots, lift up, and then down. Yes, good girl. Okay. And there, you can do a stand, plots. Yeah. So high to low. Got that there, just gonna kick it back. And plots. Yes, good girl. 
So be a little bit more time. You gotta be a little bit more patient with it because it's not a little bit more technical because you really have to get it down in between their legs. Now, if it's a puppy, they might just be flexible and they want to just keep going and trying to dig in after your hand. Take your time. You don't want to start having to push their rear end down. After a little bit, sure, but at the beginning, you don't want it to be, you don't want it to be forced. You want it to be volunteered. So they may just start doing the yoga stance, you know, you know, downward dog with the ass up, but don't force it. Just let it go, go, go. And if you're using a treat, your hand might get really, really wet from them just trying to bite and nibble whatever treat you have in your hand. So if they're doing it for a while and they're still not going down, just keep them moving so that they don't get bored and you keep their interest, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and up it a little bit with her tug. You know what, I'll still go this way. Hey. that they don't want to pass. Stand. Stand. Plots. Yes. Again, you have to read your dog. So with this one, with so the feet don't go forward, it's always good to start lowering by throwing the object backwards if you're using a toy. Throw it behind them so this way, again, when they collapse backwards, they're already thinking they gotta start pivoting backwards or behind them because if their feet go forward, they may get into that habit of leaning forward. So with Ava, and this is where just troubles for shooting, not having really been a stickler about it before because of how my foot's been, but also I've noticed on tile, it's very easy for them to fall into that sit plus because she can just slide. Rather than being very technical, she can just slide into the position and that's where I think it just started creeping in with her, okay? But a couple of different ways I'm um, just reinforcing it. One, you saw that, throwing it behind them. But number two, I will go ahead and set up the toy behind them. So if you have a strong leave it, and you should by this point, if not, I'll make another video. I'll make a video on how to leave it. Set it up behind them. So again, this way they're focused on you, but then you can they just run around and get the object or the toy. Okay. So she's going to be on extra good behavior. Uh -huh. Stand. There's the kick if you need the kick for the stand. Plots. Yes. So she actually landed right on top of it, which was even better. Up. Up. Nope. Plots. Yes. Up. And ah, they said. They're both amped up because I haven't done shit with them all day. Hey, no. Out. The other good thing is, if you're gonna use a pole, is you can start creating more distance between you and your dog in order to perform the down. You can also use it for sit, stand, all that shit because once they realize that pole, it is there as a um, obstacle, so to speak, something that's, it's not anything bad. It's just that a reminder for them not to cross. So once they understand they are no longer allowed to cross that pole, you can go ahead and set up and start creating more distance between you and your dog. So this way they can start getting used to being told, you know, plots down, sit, stand, stay, whatever at a greater distance. So I'll go ahead and do that one now. Let's go. Sit. Hey. 
Hey, let's stand. And there you go, good girl. Plus. Yes. that one she corrected herself on. She saw that she put a paw forward and she quickly jumped it behind because she knew better. Come here. Out. Front. Good girl. Plus. Ah, ah. So there it was. She crossed the pole. There she is with the correction. Ah, ah. That's, there it is. So going from a sit to plot, she literally has to kick herself up and that's where she's uh, catching herself. So if she's still learning that little flip up to a stand to plots, stand to down, whatever, then just use the two words, stand, then plots. Stand, plots, yes. Come here. starting to get a hang of it if you want more speed again you got to have a strong leave it go ahead and throw that object right there in front of their legs you can also like i said throw it behind them but then also start releasing them faster that'll also create more speed so again going back to what we've always said the faster i do something the faster there's a chance i'm going to get something out of this so therefore that would be the reward which would be in this case the time That's pretty much it on that one. Ava, come here. Out. And you can still shape on this one too. Ace. Plot. Down. Yeah. Extend. You can still shape by literally forcing them back into the position. And that's what it is. Stand. And that's it. Again, use the lure in order to create the shape and movement that you want. And then once they're starting doing it voluntarily, just from the action of the hand movement alone, and that's where, if you notice, that's where I started getting all my hand signals. Sit, because it's usually this, just because, again, if you're using the leash or, you know, um, you got a lure in your hand, it's usually because you're moving it up, which brings the head up, which brings the ass down fit stand which is out to the side because usually again when you're flipping it if you're on the side of your dog coming out to the side just naturally brings them out into the stand and then plots is usually just down because again the shape of the movement is pushing them their head down so the movement of the hand signals was just kind of dictated by the shape of what you're creating with your dog when you're lowering all right so get creative have fun good luck talk to you next time